Hi guys, so I'm with the legend Mickey Hazard. Mickey, 2-0 um, tonight. Um, they, they made it very hard for us um, at Rodney Parade 10 days ago. Um, very professional performance today. How did you see it? Right. We did what we had to do. The, you know, the game could have been six or seven. Just a lot of chances, uh, but ultimately it always was, always will be about getting to the next round uh, without too much damage. You know, we've, we've played a team that most of them won't play on Saturday, yep. so we'll all be very fresh Saturday because uh, they've had a rest. Uh, maybe some uh, will start Saturday. Only played 60 tonight, so it's not, it's not damaged us too much for Saturday. Remembering that on Tuesday we've got Juventus as well, so we've got a tough few days. It's not took too much out of our key players. Um, now, next round of the FA Cup, Rochdale away. How do the players feel when the draw is made? Do the players want a really good team? Do they want um, a Premier League team? Or, to, or, or is it nice to play a lower league team? Um, I can only talk for myself when I was part of FA Cup runs and, yeah. and listening to the draw. I've got to be honest, I always wanted an home draw. And I always wanted a low-level team. Because I thought that to get to an FA Cup final, you don't want to have to beat Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea. You want to beat uh, as many lesser teams as possible. And then when you get to the latter stages, yeah. hopefully they've got one another out. Uh, and in the latter stages, you might have to beat one of them. So um, it's about getting to the final and winning a cup, full stop. So it doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you get there. And for me, the easiest way is to play. That doesn't mean that easy games. It just means that you should, the teams that you should beat. And more often than not, you will. So if we can get to a cup final, not playing one Premier League team, I will be more than delighted. Now, it, in May, it will be 27 years since Gary Mabbott last lifted the FA Cup for Spurs. Wow. That seemed a long time ago. It is, but there's an interesting fact here, a fact for you. Um, if we do win the FA Cup this season, will, will we be the only side in the history of... Um, the FA Cup, yeah. we'll have won the FA Cup at home. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. a fact that in years to come, yeah. it'll be a great quiz question. Yeah. Now, Saturday is the big one. Um, as an ex-player yourself, how do you prepare for Arsenal coming? Um, how will the players be feeling? But again, I can talk for me and my preparation was that I was very fortunate to have come through the, the system at Spurs from the age of 12, so it was read into me about what it meant to the club, what it meant to the fans, what it meant to the players, uh, what it meant to North London, and it was everything about it, what it meant was, you know, it was the key. So every time I played against Arsenal, I didn't even have to wake up and motivate myself. It, it was there. I, I, the minute that the previous game was finished, before the game, my mind was already on that. You know, because it was you know the one game in the season, the two games in the season that it just didn't bear thinking about it to lose. And now I'm like a lot older and a lot wiser. It still doesn't bear thinking about that we can lose. And um, the thought, I, you know, don't sit next to me on Saturday. Do not sit next to me because I promise you faithfully. If they take the lead, I'll go over the edge and start ranting and raving. So it's one of the few times that I lose control, but it's, that's what this fixture means to people that have been brought up and the philosophies and history of this great football club. This is one fixture we don't want to lose, and um, I'm no. Uh, maybe because I've played in it, I've scored the winner in it, I've scored a goal in, in it too. Um, Maybe it means even more not to lose. How do you see the game going? If, if I was to ask you for a prediction, do you think the Spurs will win? Well, I think um, uh, player to player, team to team. Yeah. I think we're a better side, but I think in local derbies, particularly the big ones, the Manchester Manchester one, the Liverpool one, and this one, I think form book goes out the window. Um, anyone can win. I think that if we play to our best, we will win, uh, but that doesn't mean we're going to win. It means that anyone can win because on their day they can be a very good side too. So it's going to be a tough fixture. It's about who settles down. God, I've just had my dinner repeat. 
who settles down the fastest, who believes the most, who has the most confidence that they're going to succeed, who's the most solid defensively. I think that we've got a far superior defence, but they've got a very good attacking line. So it's going to, for me, it's going to be won uh, in the midfield area. I think if Delhi, Ericsson, Song are on fire with Wanyama or Dyer or Dembele, I think if the midfield control the game, I think we can win the game pretty well because I believe we are the best team in the league with our best 11 players out there. But mark no words about it. This is going to be one tough game. It's going to be one emotional game whereby at the end of it we are going to be uh, have no fingernails, no toenails, no nothing. But as long as when that final whistle goes, we're one goal ahead of them. I don't give a shit how we play. I don't give a shit what they say, what they do. Just as long as at the end of this game we are one nil up, yeah. one goal ahead of us. That's all that matters on Saturday. Now Spurs are in quite good form at the moment. Obviously, it was a different team tonight. But in the last week, uh, beating Manchester United two 0 at home, uh, come back uh, drew at Liverpool two two. So we're in good form, aren't we? I think we're playing sensational. I thought Manchester United was almost on a par with the Real Madrid performance and then you go to Liverpool and how many teams go to Liverpool and play take 66% possession and, and it's not just about possession we had chances um, we, we, you know we had double the amount of shots we had triple the amount of shots on target um, we had the penalty to win the game 2-1 we miss it we're still in complete control of the game at that stage and they break away and get a wonder goal and not such good defending and then we still have the character and the courage to, to actually throw bodies forward, get in the box and get the equaliser. That's what does seem very different, um, being a Spurs fan for, for many years. Um, the character and the way that we come back in games under Pochettino is, is different class now, isn't it? Well, we keep doing what we do. You know, we keep playing. We never stop playing. We, never, you know, we go a goal behind, go two, but we're still playing. And even though at times we think, God, we make a few mistakes at the back, we make a cost us a goal, we still keep doing. We keep doing, we keep doing. And in the end, as we saw with Liverpool, the second half, they were shattered. They couldn't cope with the tempo of our play because they worked so hard in the first half to try, try and stop us doing our game. Come the second half, they were knackered and we absolutely and totally played them off the park. You know, and uh, oh, hold on. Who's that? Shit, the clock's just running by. <laughs> still, he's, he's, I still, saw you tweet he's, that. he's still going. <laughs> um, oh, hang on, someone's telling him. Someone's telling him. <laughs> Mickey, I'm going to ask, uh, we've just spoken briefly at the bar about this. Um, it's Tottenham's new stadium. Now, obviously, um, at Wembley, we've only lost one league game um, against Chelsea it was the first. Everyone was saying about how Wembley was first for us. Um, we've got an excellent home record here. How? How do you think that you will feel when you walk into that new stadium and have you been down to the new site to see how the building works going? Yes, it's, it's, it's staggeringly good. It's the most. I've been part of some great nights, cup winning nights at Spurs. I don't think I've lived in a more exciting time for the club. I think it's incredible what's going on. I think the stadium is spectacular and you know all these that people who said that um, Wembley is a do and it'll take us years to fill in at our new stadium. Well, you know what? I think we'll want to be quite lucky at the new stadium because you know the 18 yard boxes at our new stadium? Luckily, they're going to be the same size as the ones at White Hart Lane. You know? So it's actually got an off wheel line as well with a D. Same as White Hart Lane had and touch lines. And, and corner line. So we're really lucky that the pitch in the new stadium is going to have lots of similarities yeah. with White Hart Lane, particularly the 18 yard box. I mean, what's the chance of, as of that ever being Funny the that. same size? Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. So we can go to the new stadium safe in the knowledge that, well, it's, it's similar similar surroundings to White Hart Lane. The you know, 18 yard box, the same size, the penalty spot, I bet it's the same distance from the goal line as well. So how lucky is that? It's, it's all going our way. Yeah. You know, it's onwards and upwards because it's just fit, this picture's fit was perfect. Have you have you been down there to see any building work or not? I've I've not been inside. I've been asked to go inside, but I've sort of seen from the outside. And I think it, it's absolutely. If I could put into one word, when I look at it, it staggers me. 
It's breathtaking. That's two words. Now, I, I'm trying to get inside, so when you go in there, can I come with you? Yeah, yeah no, the, we, we, yeah, I've been told to go in and we can go in, the boxes are almost complete. Yeah. And we can go, actually go in and see the boxes mm. and all of that, you know, and um, it's, you know, what, what makes me um, so excited by it all is that this is not just going to be, you know, this is a beautiful state in Wembley, but it's not warm. This is going to be our own and, and it's going to be, it's going to feel like our own. The fans are going to make it our own, and it's just going to quickly grow to be our own. And it, why? Because it's on the old site of White Hart Lane. If we'd have moved 100, 200 yards away, it would have took the time to grow. This is on the old site. It's going to be at the ghost of White Hart Lane looking over. Now, I was talking to a former employee the other day, and he said that the East Stand was haunted. Do you know anything about that, or do you have any experiences? Um, no? I'm a non-believer. Right. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe, believe in angels. I'm, I'm a total, complete non-believer, you know. And I, I suppose the, the appropriate name for me would be I'm a Downton Thomas. Until I actually see something in real life, I don't believe. Um, so I'm a Downton Thomas, and until it's proven otherwise, I'll, I'll carry on being an unbelievable thing. So I would safely go into the East Stand. In fact, when I was 16, 17 and I'm breaking through into the youth team and the reserves, I used to play snooker right at the very top of the East Stand stand. It was a snooker room. I used to play in there by myself. Yeah. So it didn't hold any fears for me then and it certainly wouldn't have. Mickey, last question for you. Just a yes or a no. Uh, top four for Spurs. Will they finish top four? Yes, we will. And a little tip for everyone out there. It's my birthday two, go, two days ago, guys, and um, I got a bottle of aftershave. Do yourselves a favour, go and get it. They call it breadcrumbs. The birds love it. I knew you can answer a question, Gazza, yes or no. Gazza told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure.